Hello there. Welcome back. We have fresh new lessons for you. You've learned different techniques from our previous tutorials. Let's expand your options for coloring mediums. In this tutorial, we'll talk about the ballpoint pen. Yes, you can simply use a pen for coloring. How about that? You can find ballpoint pens in various colors. The great thing about pens, is that you can bring them with you anywhere you go. We'll color a page from the Ultimate Street Art Coloring Book. Inspired by street artist, Rush Bowles Mural in Miami. Let's start. We chose a pen that contains six different colors. Blue, red, orange, purple, green, and black. All in one. Very easy to carry with you, wherever you go. As always, make sure to try out colors before using them on the page. Use a different sheet to practice pressure first. The secret, is to keep the pressure light. You don't want to spread too much ink at once. Because it will be harder to get an even color. Let's start. Watch as we build up colors slowly, just like with coloring pencils. Remember the hatching and cross hatching technique we did with coloring pencils? We'll do the same movements here. Of course, there are differences between these two mediums. The ballpoint pen will give you thinner, and more pronounced strokes. This will give your page a sharper and more textured look. Hatch strokes will in most cases be visible. You'll also need more time to visually blend colors. It's such a relaxing and enjoyable process. Another significant difference from coloring pencils, is that you can't erase ink from a ballpoint pen. Don't worry about making mistakes though. It will be alright. Enjoy the process. As you see, we started coloring with blue ink. Hatching in one direction first. This will give us a light layer first. On the more saturated parts, make denser strokes and color by moving in different directions. Like this. Try to create smooth transitions between tones. Space out your strokes, and apply lighter pressure on the softer areas. Another trick to keep in mind, is to preserve the blank areas for the highlights. There's no going back when you color with pens. Unlike coloring pencils, coloring with ballpoint pens will give you a limited number of colors to use, right? That means we have to put some colors next to each other to get the right tone. We'll start with green in this area, and slowly add red and purple on top of some sections. We're also using blue and purple, to shade along some edges. Cold colors are great for shadows. Remember? Let's color. In the end, we'll use black color to add darker shadows here and there. And it's done. Are you ready for the challenge? 
Try out ballpoint pens and show us how it goes. Tag Aimful Books in your coloring pages to get featured and win prizes. See you in the next video tutorial. Learn more at aimfulbooks.com.